On the table here, I have a number of different nippers. These are end nippers that I use for cutting bassoon reeds off. So there's the polished face of one of my modified nippers. Um, I do that using a uh, diamond stone. It's very flat and makes an edge that's perfect. So after grinding this thing down with a um, wheel or a belt sander to get it fairly flat, you take rubber bands and you put them around the handle to hold it in place. Musical. Okay, so I take the grind, the um, the tool, the end nippers, and you just move them across the stone. And even after these were done very well in the first place, um, you can see a couple of different patterns emerging. So, you know, these are relatively inexpensive. And so the bearing that holds the, uh, the two cutting surfaces together that forms the handle it might play a little bit. So, once you put your uh, rubber bands on, you're committed to that new pattern. And you should scrape or polish until you can see both sides coming together and making yeah, you can see that very well there now. Until the whole edge on both sides is touching and going across the cutting surface. And you see, it gets more and more every time you do it. So maybe a hundred strokes might do it. And and there you have it. And you can have any size nipper. I have these little bitty ones. A little bit bigger. These are normal six inch ones. This is a set of antique ones that I got a hold of. So we modified the, um, the handle and shortened the handle. And this thing is uh, probably 100 years old. But it works just as well. So, lots of variation here. I don't know if you can even fit that in. The Petite and the Big Monster. All right, there you have it. If You can make comments if you have questions. And I'll, if I see it, I'll be happy to answer.